a sheep. Today I'm going to show you how you ring a lamb's tail. Now there's a couple of rules in when you're doing this and one is that they must be done over 24 hours old but under seven days. So I'm going to get the lamb and show you how I do this. Before you start you'll need a few things. You'll need your applicators and you can buy these at any agricultural store or country store and you'll need your castrating rings. They're called castrating rings because you can also use them for castrating. Um, they're little orange rubber rings like this. Now my advice is, and it's only a tip, that I replace mine every year. So any leftover, I throw them away and I buy a new box the following year. That's because um, the rubber can um, perish a bit. Also, when you first start um, docking your tails of your lambs, it's always worth having a marker pen because when I first started, I used to mark where I wanted the ring to go and it makes it a bit easier as guidance for you. So before you start, you need to get your applicators and your ring and just pop it on the four prongs. Make sure it goes over the four prongs like so roll it down I always just give it a little flex to make sure the rings not gonna tear and it's nothing worse than having a tail where you've put a ring on it pops off again a couple of days later but as I say the net text ones I've always found brilliant but I always give them a little flex so I've got the little lamb and I always hold the back legs between my knees. Um, if you've got any hook or anything on the tail, just take that off before you start. Now, as you can see, there's a bald, there's a bald area there of the tail and you want to avoid that. So get your um, marker pen. and place the tail down. I always go with my thumb leg. That, that way I know there's plenty of tail there. So put just a little black mark on the wool, like so, and then you know where to put the ring. Open the pliers right up, thread the tail through, where you've got your black dot, just close the pliers and with your fingers just roll the and that's that done as i say on a lamb a ewe lamb you need to cover um her vulva and on a ram lamb you need to ensure the tail covers the anus and that way they won't get too much fly strike so that's it done they will wriggle about when you put them back. Don't be alarmed. It is a little bit painful for them for a few minutes, but they'll find, be fine in half an hour or so. So I hope today's video's helped you and that you've now got nice, healthy ewes and lambs ready to go out to the field. So for now and until next time, it's happy sheep keeping. <laughs>